no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this drink. Is that you? No, well, it wasn't me. We don't know me. who made it, so. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't. Stupid, ignorant high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the Bye. Kid. Okay, you can call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam stop. Jam stop. Give it to me right now. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. I want the telephone. Janice, I want the telephone. Get out. You can call for me. Bye. Okay, good for you. Bye. I want the Now. So that was uh, obviously male Karen at a Robex in Fairfield, which is actually right next door to Bridgeport, Connecticut, where I uh, was uh, born and raised. James Ianazzo was apparently so angry with the employees of a Robex that he uh, yelled at them, threw stuff, shouted racial slurs, and then, yes, at the end of the video, tried to get into the employees only area, which is suspicious. In any event at a Robex, uh, but particularly after you're yelling and shouting racist stuff, I would have been terrified if I was one of those teenagers working at that Robex that this madman was going to attack. So I'll give you more details about what led to that, but I, but I do want your your reaction, Francesca. Um, I mean, Ida Rola, yeah, not so. I think there's some uh, go get your Close. boyness over here, uh, Connecticut, John. Uh, call your boy. But I, now, to be fair. I look, I've never uh, been arrested while at a Robex. I've been thrown out of a Robex <laughs> and I am banned from several Papa John's. Or sorry, Papa's John, I think it would be called. <laughs> um, but this is not the same thing, Comet with the anti Italian stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And that's fine. No, um, my first thought when I saw this is beyond his ridiculous behavior because we've seen this so much lately, but it's about the workers, right? They're you know, I just did a, like a whole two hours on like the the Great Resignation um, on the Twituation Room, which is my TYT stream. But like, there are so many workers who are saying, "Enough! I don't get paid to deal with these customers and to be mistreated and to have drinks thrown at me." Right? This is not even a minimum wage job. We can't even get the minimum wage raised. Meanwhile, my shifts are disappearing. I, you know, I don't get sick time. Whatever it is, like. These no worker deserves to be treated that way, and it's on management to to, to protect them. So yeah. I immediately just thought, man, I would quit. To, like I would quit. Like, mm -mm. yeah, I would look working in these sorts of jobs. I'm sure you have. I've worked in a thousand different areas of food service and retail and all that. It was never easy. And these things, by the way, are not totally new. What's new is high definition cameras being carried around by everyone. But they are worse. People do feel emboldened, I think. In this case, he says the reason, because he's now got a lawyer, he's been arrested and all that, is that he had gotten a smoothie, given it to his child. The child had had an allergic reaction. He believes that they put peanuts in it or something like that that caused it. Uh, I understand that that would cause you to be very angry and very scared. I understand that. And I admit that Robex is a high tension area in the best of times. Everyone's hopped up on stimulants and stuff. Um, but you don't get to to try to attack them. Like especially verbally in a racial way and especially potentially physically trying to what what were you what were you going to say to them in the employee only area that you couldn't say over the counter? Why did you need to try to bust down a door that a scared employee is desperately trying to keep shut? That is horrifying behavior. And the context about the, the health thing does not ameliorate it. Yeah. Yeah, and and I know he's got like a statement out, and and he's, you know, he works with Merrill Lynch, right? It, it's just it doesn't matter what happened. The way that you treat someone, it says everything about your worldview too. Like if you're treating, I mean, again, like we all know that the way that you treat um, the way that you treat working people, the, like we've all been out to dinner with somebody who like treats like uh, you know wait staff like crap. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's they're ridiculous, and it shows a lot about their worldview and how they believe workers should be in the service of them. And if they make any kind of mistake, well then they deserve to have a smoothie thrown at them and be berated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Instead of you know, I'm sure if he was yeah. calmer about it. 
the whole situation would have been calmer. Yeah, definitely. And then he might not have ended up getting arrested. And he might not have, uh, to add just one little bit of extra news, what you said about the Merrill Lynch thing. He used to work at Merrill Lynch. He does not work there anymore. Because apparently there is actually a line, even for organizations like that. Not having to do with the financial stuff. But when it comes to Robux, they take that seriously. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.